What is going on guys and girls, Kidding here at your service and with all the awesome games releasing later this year and early next year, you might be debating with yourself whether or not should I get this game or that game or your budget just simply doesn't allow you to buy the game you really really want. So you have to settle with one or two games for the rest of the year especially when it comes to first person shooter games because trust me there are a lot of them but we are going to focus on the ones that you are more than likely in some point in time are going to get whether it may be titanfall 2 battlefield 1 or call of duty infinite warfare and call of duty modern warfare remastered so by now you might be thinking to yourself well ken k which one should i get first well my friends let's start with battlefield 1 i'm going to give you guys five categories that you have to determine whether or not you fit any three of the five categories before committing yourself in buying battlefield 1 so with that said let's get right into today's video in our first category, you have to determine whether or not you are a fan of the franchise. Even though Battlefield 4 had lots of problems and probably still have patches up to this day, and Battlefield Hardline was like putting a bandage on a bullet wound, but being a fan of the series is not the same as being a fanboy or girl. There's a difference. Making the purchase of a Battlefield game is as a fan means that you love how the game runs and you love how realistic it feels. The recoil of the guns, the vehicles, the maps, the atmosphere, that immersion that the game brings is what true fans know and love. But being a fanboy is like buying every single game that ever existed for Battlefield and not admitting to the problems and bugs the game have fanboys are a prime example of donald trump supporters so if you are a fan then you are on the right track and you just need two more categories before making that purchase in our second category the question you need to ask yourself is do you have the skill and the ability to play battlefield one i'm going to tell you guys straight up you cannot pick up the controller and magically accomplish something with in battlefield one you definitely need skill in order to play this game and it takes time to get used to it as well it's not like card where you can automatically go on a 10 kill streak no sweat that makes card cut and battlefield is not like that at all i must say when i picked up the beta for battlefield one i was struggling my aim was all over the place and guys take my word for it the best snipers in any first person shooter games battlefield one snipers are by far the best you can go as far as saying that battlefield players are pros and call of duty players are noobs and i'm a big call of duty fan but if you have skill in battlefield games then by all means you're on the right track in buying this game for our next category is map side now you veteran battlefield players know that the maps in these games are by all means no small environment even though battlefield games are one of the most realistic graphically enhanced first person shooter games out there but it, it also has the biggest maps in its genre so if you like big maps with lots of verticality then you are set which brings me to our fourth category multiplayer so if you like big maps you should like big groups too right well, with Battlefield 1, you can play with up to 64 players at, at once, with each team consisting of 32 players, which are broken up to squads that can accommodate 4 players per squad. You can also rent servers, so if you want to have lag-free experience, and you can pick and pick and choose whoever who joins and leaves your game, then this is the way to go. Battlefield 1 also provides awesome game modes such as rush conquest and much more but there are also maps that support traditional game modes like tdm free for all and gun game not forgetting one of the most like aspect of battlefield one that players absolutely adore boots on the ground i mean have you guys seen this video lately the players know what they want and battlefield 1 is giving it to them 
So our last and final category is the most important one of all. Friends. Friends can determine which game you play. Battlefield 1 is a game you need friends or else it gets boring and sometimes depressing. Friends are there to cover your back when there is an enemy around the corner. They are there for those MLG callouts and finally they are there just to make the general gaming experience much much more better. So that wraps it up for me guys. Hopefully I help you guys make your up your mind and buying Battlefield 1 with the 5 categories and hopefully you have chosen 3 out of the 5 and if you did you should have a blast and no problem buying this game come later October. And if you didn't don't worry all hope is not lost. I have more videos like this one coming out very very soon on Titanfall 2 and Infinite Warfare. So if you guys like this video smashing the like button is greatly greatly appreciated and subscribing is even better so with that said my name is kid and k and i'll catch you guys in another video